back like I never lived. <laughs> a backpack, back, 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 back. All right, guys, I'm back with another one. Kind of excited about this fragrance right here. Y'all know I'm the cheapest cologne guy on YouTube, man. Told y'all. Y'all about to stop playing with me. Stop playing with it, boy. <laughs> stop playing with me. I'm the cheapest cologne guy on YouTube. All right? Y'all, hey. Your boy be rocking them clothes. Be rocking them body oils too, boy. Gotta have that roll on, boy. You gotta layer your stuff. Roll on's good too. Yes, sir. Don't play with them. All right, guys. This one here is another pickup. This is called G for Men Fighter. All right. Kind of excited about this one. Uh, this one right here, guys, is a replica version of John Paul Gaultier Scandalous. That's what it is, scandalous. All right, I put a title in the description. I just call it what it is so you guys will know what it's copying, you know. So if I put G for me and fighter, and y'all be like, what the heck is that, you know. So I just put the, exact, the original cologne that it's copying in the title. It's John Paul Gaultier, scandalous. All right. I don't know. So <laughs> that's what it is. All right, guys, so let's break into this packaging. Kind of excited, man. I, I be excited. A lot of these uh, clone, these clone fragrance colognes and stuff. A lot of times I like them for the, the baller design. Uh, I don't care if it is a clone. Clones taking over nowadays. People trying to save money, you know. So a lot of these clones, it's un taking over. Let's unpackage this thing, man. Sit down. <laughs> Alright, put the paper aside here. Alright. Tell y'all, y'all better believe it. Those, those clones are taking over. Well, people trying to save bucks out here these days. You no, know, so y'all better believe that. Alright, now straight out of the box is what we get. That's what it look like right there. Pretty cool ball is like a chrome. It's called scandalous. I like that. John Paul Gorte is scandalous. I don't know what's up with the the crown or king or the throne or <laughs> whatever it is. Pretty cool baller though. Stop playing with it. Yes, sir. All right, the boxes you know, kind of got the gold laboring going on around the box right here. Not the typical. Uh, got the batch code. It, it actually a clone. It actually has the batch code. And all that stuff to the bottom. Pretty cold. Batch cold and all that. It's right down there. Even though it is a clone, a clone it still got a code, you know. So I go to show, clones got batch codes too. So got something going on there. Some kind of code. It's on the bottom of the box. All right, guys. The box is cool in front. Got the gold going around here. The crown. This is a G for men. Y'all know your boy, the cheapest guy on YouTube when it comes to fragrances. All right, let's get into the fragrance. Got a gold itemizer to the top. That crown is cool, man. Check that crown out right there. Yes, sir. Stop playing with him. Stop playing with him. Yes, sir. Crown make the whole ball look important, doesn't it? Yeah. Make it look like it costs. Two, three hundred dollars. That's where that crown on top. <laughs> All right. It does look expensive, though. Look at this. It's so like, hmm, what kind of cologne is that? Got the crown on the top, you know. Y'all don't really know. Some of you never seen before, right? Yeah, I have it anyway. I right, got to see what this thing smell like. John Paul Gorte Scandalous. All right, I'm going to hit this off so I use it over here. Good spray, huh? See what it smells like. What he working with here, man. See what he got going on, man. Oh, man, this is fresh. Been playing around. I smelled I tested it. So I tested it in the store. Because actually where I buy these from, they have testers. So you can actually test these before you buy them, you know. All right. This real fresh. Kind of like a sweet scent. 
Now, my testing with the one in the store, the longevity of it was somewhere between, the projection-wise, I would say, it projects really good for the first hour and a half for the store testing. Also, the longevity of it is somewhere between three and five hours. Now, I give you guys some of the scents that it smells like. It remind me of, um, kind of like the, the, Lamar, the original Lamar with a little bit more sweet spice or something to it, you know. It smells a lot like Polo Red. That's what popped in mind, guys. I smelled so many fragrances. If you like Polo Red, I don't know. Maybe you'll like this one. It's show the box is red. It smells like Polo Red, man. Not exactly, but it's got that Polo Red vibe to it. I think the ladies will love this one. Um, like I said, longevity is somewhere between three and five hours. And y'all know I don't get deep into longevity because I believe in just boom, 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 my clothes and all. I believe in just reapplying it, even though that comes to spraying it all over your t-shirt and everything. So that is my belief. I don't get too deep into longevity. The best time to rock this fragrance, date night. Woo. Be a serious date night fragrance, guys. Nice sweetness. Boy, the ladies will definitely like this one. Look it up, guys. It's called G. G for men is, is, is John Paul Gortier, Scandalous Clone. Um, a good fragrance on a night out with your wife, your girlfriend. You're going on a dinner date. You're going to the movies. Or you're just going to the mall. TJ Maxx, Burlington, Raw somewhere. Um... Could be just going to eat some steaks, catch your movies. Boy, you, you, you're going to be smelling good with this bad boy right here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's got that polo red vibe. It's kind of coffee-ish a little. I don't really know if that's what they were going after, but it's got that polo red vibe written all over it. Um, I'm pretty sure they ain't what it's exactly what they was going after because it's a John Paul Gortier fragrance. But it does smell similar to Polo Red. Cool baller, man. Like I said, you see this um, sitting on somebody's dresser or something like this. Uh, you would actually be like, hmm, by, look, by the looks of that cap, man, they paid, they paid a lot of money for that. You know, what the heck kind of cologne is that? <laughs> he must pay $500 for that baller looking like that. You know, and some of these ballers do look really unique. You know, if you just look at them, you would actually think somebody paid a lot of money for it. If you didn't know no better, you know, if you didn't see my review on YouTube that this is a clone of John Paul Gorte Scandalous or something, then you might well get hooked up and think somebody actually paid big bucks for this baller just because of the looks of the baller, which is pretty cool. But anyway, I bring y'all, y'all know the cheapest guy, the cheapest cologne man on YouTube. I love to do the clones. Know why? Because nobody else is doing them. No, I'm in my own lane with them. All right? Hit that subscribe, man. All right? Your boy is out. I'm bringing y'all more fragrance reviews, too. Peace.